Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your March 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have for our lovely Sagittarians, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Sagittarius. Thank you. That flew out. <laughs> Okay, and it's a lovely card to have. The most positive card of the tarot deck, the sun, is your overarching energy. Very nice. You know, and the sun is in Aries towards the end of March. So you're probably going to feel that boost quite strongly being a fellow fire sign, Sagittarius. So let's uh, pull your angel card. What is the message for Sagittarius? Thank you. Oh, very nice energy. We have be assertive. This is don't think twice, be assertive, go for something. Um, yeah, I mean, this can, I mean, you're not really one to take a back seat, Sagittarius, but this is definitely an energy of just go for something, take action, assert yourself. It could well be for some of you, sometimes when I feel this card, it can be about having a creative approach to a situation being creative thinking, creative approach, doing something differently. Certainly if you want to get, if you want to stand out, and I don't know why I'm saying that, but you know, I say things for a reason in reading, so it might resonate for some of you. I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is first week, second card, second week, third card, third week, fourth card, fourth week, but the energies may also overlap, so just take what resonates with you. And it won't res resonate for everybody, as always. Um, and then I'm going to clarify the cards and go deeper into the message, Sagittarius. So let's pull your first cards. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Sagittarians. Thank you. March 2021. Thank you. Very nice. Fire energy, the Ace of Wands. Oh, King of Wands. That'd be you. Can also be Leo energy for me as a reader. Or Aries. The Knight of Cups. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, let's clarify the cards for Sagittarius, please. Angel Spirits Guides for March 2021, thank you. Can we clarify the cards for our lovely Sagittarians, thank you. So I have the Hermit here. Came out more reversed, I have to say, than um, the upright. so I'm going to put it reversed. I don't normally do reversals, but it was significant. We've got the King of Wands with the King of Cups. Knight of Cups, we have the star. Look at that, we have the Nine of Cups here. So bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. Okay. So Sagittarius, I mean, this is beautiful. The sun is such a positive energy and it's the overarching energy for your reading in March 2021. Uh, it is a card of celebration, joy, good news, growth, um, feeling really good, you know, feeling really good, things looking up. Um, sometimes it can be when you're coming through the other side of a situation and things are finally releasing, you are regenerating, being restored in your own light. You are stepping centre stage into your light once more. It feels very, very beautiful. And that's why you're being told to be assertive because you are absolutely shining this month. It feels absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm feeling really good. Remember, the Sun card is about feeling good, um, feeling happy, feeling positive. Um, full clarity in terms of what you're going for, where you're going and how to get it, you know. It's that kind of energy of, of growth and vitality and things happening and things growing and um, 
Yeah, just very, very good indeed. Can be linked with good news as well. So interesting that the Hermit came out reversed because this can be a card of isolation. I mean, it might be down to the pandemic here. Um, can also be about loneliness or being on your own or feeling isolated in some way. Sometimes it can be about withdrawal. I'm not really feeling that for you as Sagittarius. I mean, it could be to do with the fact that you've been healing from something here as well. Hermit is a healer, shines a light from within, you know, and it feels in this situation that there has been some isolation that you've been dealing with or or loneliness, you know, but that is going to change because there is the new opportunity coming your way. Interesting. So Spirit is saying this is given to you by the hand of God, the divine, the universe. It's meant to be. The aces are linked with destiny. You know, they're linked, they're connected to the hand of God. So very much to do with destiny. The message is, I mean, this can be a card of opportunity coming into your life. Something that's very much connected to your heart and soul. And you can see the one sprouting. It promises to grow. If you take action to this, it will grow, it will thrive. It will bring expansion and you know, uh, fulfill your passions, your desires. This is something that is very much in line with your element as well, Sagittarius. So it feels for some of you some kind of opportunity. Now that could be in terms of business career. That can also be in terms of passion, love, romance, relationships. I mean, you know, it can also be, I mean, it can be a card of inspiration. So for some of you, and I sometimes use the example of, you know, if you've visited a place, you know, a county or a state that you really liked, you suddenly decide, right, this is where I'm going. I'm deciding to open a new door. I'm, I'm done with feeling, you know, lonely and withdrawn in the place that I am. So I'm going to take action and, and move there. You know, it can be that kind of energy, can be to do with projects, can be to do with just starting something that's very in line with your heart and soul, your passion, your desire, maybe a hobby, um, you know, that kind of energy. So it feels very, very beautiful. Um, very, very exciting as well. Something that you'd be excited about. And it is a new beginning card, new beginnings, new starts, new phases by action. It could be something that you've been waiting for here because sometimes the sun card comes when there's energy, things begin to happen. Um, so if you've been isolated here, all of a sudden there is the door opening and it feels for some of you that first week. Now, the King of Cups and the King of Wands. I see this King of Wands as you, male or female energy. Uh, now, remember, the King of Cups can be to do with something that offers you something that's close to your heart. So, can be to do with feelings for somebody. Maybe there's feelings for somebody, passions for somebody new here, uh, Sagittarius could well be that kind of energy and it might well be you know you or they might be keeping their heart close to their chest or their feelings close to their chest you know developing secret feelings for somebody so that could be the case here the king of cups can re represent love romance relationships it's cups energy very much close to your heart heart center and um, kings can also offer opportunity you know, the cups can be creative energy, again, heart energy, something that you really want, something that, you know, will bring you happiness and joy and fulfillment and contentment. Um, but it feels very, very beautiful here, that second week. Um, yeah, second week, is. it seems, you know, it could be somebody of influence who may be offering you something here, or you might be developing some, may bring in happiness or joy or opportunity, something that is just lifting your heart. And remember the King of Wands, and I feel this is you, he is card of action, um, a go-getting energy. This is where you need to be assertive, go for something now, um, follow your passions, your desires, take the lead you know he is somebody who is 
ready to go for something and and when he goes for something he understands how to bring success and growth and fulfill his passions and desires he sits in his power it's a lovely lovely energy here of of assertiveness i'm feeling for some of you to do with this king of cups so what the king of cups represents so very very beautiful energy here because for some of you um the knight of cups again can be to do with offers opportunities so the knights bring change as well and i feel it's to do with this cups energy that this person's bringing in leo knight of cups again can be to do with something that's very close to your heart an offer or an opportunity that's very close to your heart if you have secret feelings for somebody for example this could be an offer of love this could be where you are ready to wear your heart on your sleeve, express yourself. It's very beautiful or them to you. Um, and it's the change, you know, this is the change that you've been looking for. Can also be to do with creative opportunity as well, Sagittarius. Something that is absolutely close to your heart, something that brings you joy, offers or opportunities. So again, very beautiful energy there with the Knight of Cups. And the star is a card of, you know, you are on the right path. Whatever this opportunity is coming into you that's bringing positive change, oh my goodness, this is optimism. This is things are looking up. There is such hope in this situation. The star also represents new growth, new world energy. Um, but absolutely, this is, this opportunity is very much in line with your heart, heart centre, and means that you're on the right path so it's meant for you most definitely so absolutely beautiful energy there so real positive energy between those two cards because we have the queen of pentacles here um which is i mean the queen of pentacles can be a person in your life um male or female energy uh can be I mean, she's also about nurturing something as well. So it can be a person, <coughs> sorry, um, can be a person, Le can be a person, um, I keep on wanting to say Leo, maybe you're dealing with a Leo. Um, she is somebody who can bring in something solid, stable, secure, something that grows, something that will thrive. Uh, she is water and earth so it definitely feels for some of you what is happening here there is definitely growth something stable something solid that if you tend to it it will grow you know I mean she is a nurturing energy she is a card of growth she is a card also in terms of if it's to do with you know she's also to do with money career she can be to do with opportunity being offered to you here. Um, she is somebody who understands how it definitely is a sign of providing financially for yourself, um, a working parent. You know, she is somebody who is also a nurturing energy. So nurturing, uh, so definitely an energy of certainly to do with this opportunity, nurture it focus on it you have all the resources everything that you need to bring this to th to thrive and grow but it feels in this energy Sagittarius I mean you know if it's to do with money and career also this is a card of of opportunity being offered to you abundance um, you have all the resources, the practical know-how resources, focus, determination, patience that you need to bring growth and success your way. Very good in terms of money and career. Um, I mean, the pentacles energy can be to do with foundational relationships. Like I said, can link in with this. These that have, the, the messages that I've already said can be to do with money and career. So like I said, there could be some positive um opportunity coming your way or somebody of influence in terms of money and career uh, can be to do with our home our property can be to do with our health so if you've been healing recovering there is an energy of of nurturing uh, recovery and um, 
ready for growth, ready to make something happen, ready to build on something. It feels very beautiful because it's linked with the nine of nine, nine of cups, which is to do with the wish fulfillment card. So for some of you, this is about getting your heart's desire. Now your heart's desire could be in terms of money career, could be to do with your health, could be to do with you taking action on, on moving somewhere or starting something, you know, that you're, that really inspires you. Um, but there's definitely some opportunity coming to you this month that is fulfilling your hope, dream and wish. I'm definitely getting that because this is the Divine Wish Fulfillment card. This is meant to be. And the Nine of Cups is just reaffirming that. It feels on a practical level that there's real growth and abundance and um, something solid, stable, secure that is coming into you that is very much in line with your hopes, dreams and wishes. So absolutely beautiful energy. Definitely an energy if you're getting your wish here. Now, the Eight of Swords, it can be a card of when we're in our own head too much. Um, this is a card of don't overthink something. Um, don't second guess something. Uh, just because you might have been through something before, there's definitely an energy of now is the time to be assertive. Release old baggage. Uh, because for some of you, you're definitely being told this is definitely aligning you to your right path. So don't hold back. Don't let your mind play games. You know, this is when the sword is to do with our mental energy, how we perceive something, our thought patterns, and it can be negative thinking. So just be careful of that, Sagittarius. Just be careful of those thought patterns, how you perceive something, getting too much in your own head about something, looking too deeply at something. This is just absolutely focus on what is going to bring you growth and positivity and solidity and value into your life something of value coming into your life that you can build on that is very much in line with your hopes dreams and wishes absolutely beautiful energy so i love the reading sagittarius i'm going to pull a final card yeah i mean look look it's what we were saying abundance and abundance is a card i mean it's very good in terms of money career but it's also a card of of not feeling lack you know in any area whether it's to do with love whether it's to do with um emotional happiness you know whether it's to do with contentment whether it's to do with you know it just feels that there is just a feeling of abundance coming your way bountifulness um so yeah prepare yourself for incoming abundance release any mental blocks you may have in fairyland and humanland there is enough abundance for everyone beautiful and we have find balance Find the balance between your work, rest and playtime and you'll have more energy, harmony and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. So lovely energy. And I have to say, oh, this is so beautiful. It is going to feel so good. Um, this is uplifting energy, positive energy, positive things happening. It's a card of life, of growth, um, abundance, success new things beginning to grow, you know, and liberating yourself from obstacles of the past. So beautiful energy. It can also be a good news energy as well. So lovely energy there. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Sagittarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.